Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokey I'm here, one of the coaches of Team Not Scald for the next week of the NBL. I have Envy with me, he can say hi. What's poppin'? We are here. You already know. I am, of course, the the other coach, Team Not Scald. Correct, correct. And we're taking on uh, Joe Merrick and Marty Bennett. Uh, Joe is Sarabee.net. If you guys do not know, he's the entire webpage. This is him. This is his human form. Uh, they are Team Rainbow Mythical. And uh, they got some threats. They got some death the threats for sure. Uh, we actually used one of their Pokemon in Season 1 of the NBL, Mega Deancey. Um, mm -hmm. A little bit sad that like we didn't use Mega Deancey when it got better, in a sense, where they buffed Diamond Storm uh, to have the 50% chance. And then uh, to... to, to uh, to, what is it to like? To like protect. Oh, well, we, we had to protect, right? So in order to get our speed up. Yeah, but now we didn't. And that too, now exactly. Now we don't have to do that. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and the fact that you can get double defense raises sharply twice. So, I mean, uh, yeah, you can get the two two defense raises. Uh, so you can essentially get like plus four defense in a turn, which is crazy. Um, assuming Diamond Storm hits both members, of course. But yeah, anyway, yeah. they got another, obviously threats like Victini. Victini can be Z celebrate. Uh, Mens is another threat with Intimidate. Needle King offensively is really threatening. And then they have like Trick Room modes with Oranguru. Uh, but they don't have very many Pokemon to really abuse that, I feel. Uh, they, have, yeah, they, have, they have like Trick Room, but they have like Fast. I can um, see like Trick Room with Waylord, a Water Spout. Like a maybe, Water Spout like, Waylord, yeah. But, like, what's it, that move that makes you go twice? The uh, Instruct? Instruct, yeah. Instruct Waylord. <laughs> yeah, that could be interesting. But I, I don't know. I feel like Oranguru is not a Mon you bring in this game. Just because we have so many Pokemon that excel under Trick Room, maybe mm -hmm. with maybe Instruct, like you could bring it just for that. But I don't think you bring Trick Room. But yeah, they have like Togemaru for Fake Out support and whatnot. Also stops our Raikou, our nice and new Raikou, and um, yeah, they also have a Sticky Web option, which I think is a more like an option that I could see happening more. Though I don't think that's as much of a problem either, just because of the Pokemon we have. But uh, let's get right into it. You want to talk about the Mew real quick? Absolutely, absolutely. So. As you can see here, we have a Mew with uh, Ground DMZ. So essentially, this time around, we wanted to, like, I guess, bring a Mew that was more focused on having the right type of coverage for their team. And uh, Mew, of course, packing Ice Beam, Earth Power, and Signal Beam, being able to hit, you know, things super effectively, like the Salamence with Ice Beam, um, like, and the Earth Power, especially with the Ground DMZ, will be able to um, Oko Mega DNC. It can Oko Nidoking King and do a lot of damage to the Victini, such that uh, Snarl from something like Raikou plus a Z move into it will uh, guarantee knock it out. So it's going to do a lot of damage in that regard. Signal Beam, we found, was a really solid option versus Pokemon such as Oranguru, which, you know, hit super effectively, and especially Malamar, which can be a pretty big threat because it has, uh, what is it, the Contrary ability? And Happy Hour. That's potentially yeah, Happy and, Hour, too. And Happy Hour as well. So um, yeah, we definitely have to be careful of that, Mon. So having coverage like Signal Beam, which is times four super effective, Versus it, I think, can be really uh, solid overall. And uh, the Roost is for that nice uh, longevity. Of course, calculating the EVs to be able to, um, I guess, have a lot of bulk outrunning, um, outrunning the base 100s that are not plus speed in nature, like Victini and Salamence, can be great because I could see them not wanting to run a plus speed nature and probably running, um, I don't know, maybe maybe Adamant or like on, on Mens perhaps, or even like a bulkier one, but I don't really see too much um, too much speed on those mods, I guess, faster than, um, you know, like the the benchmark that we have set yeah, for. Mew. I, I agree because uh, I feel like after Mew, it jumps all the way up to Talonflame and Raikou. But under Mew, it's like Tapu Fini, two, uh, 295 would be our best, and then it just jumps all the way down. So, yeah. again, I can see them running like an Adamant one if they don't want a speedy nature. Um, but yeah, as Envy said, Ice Beam is nice. Uh, the special attack is there for the Z. Uh, the defense uh, and max HP lets us take uh, hits from men's, take, lets us take uh, a V create from Victini. Mm -hmm. um, we also take a boosted uh, Searing Shot if they want to go for that, or Blue Flare or whatever. And uh, yeah, it just hits hard versus their team. Um, Snorlax is our next member of this team. Now, we were thinking about bringing Thick Fat just because they do have Victini, but honestly, a standard curse recycle i think this is our first time bringing a regular one like it's just straight up i like this, think so yeah this is as close to standard i think as we've gotten on uh, snorlax but we're bringing figgy berry curse recycle uh, with the gluttony that way we get our berry at 50 percent uh with return crunch return and crunch hit their entire team for super effective or neutral damage uh obviously crunch hitting victini and gorgeist as well as our guru for super effective damage doing neutral to token tomorrow Whereas uh, Return just hits really, really hard, especially if they opt to bring Moxie over Intimidate on Mens. I feel like Intimidate's a lot better versus us, but if they opt to bring Moxie, it'd be better for us too. 
Uh, the defense and HP investment let us take on boosted attacks from uh, Salamence, uh, Victini, and um, the Etsy's Diamond Storm, whereas the Spadef uh, allows us to take, again, Moonblast from a DNC, uh, special hits from Victini, special hits mm -hmm. from Needle King, um, and overall, it just tank hits from their entire team. We're sassy, uh, min speed, just in case they want to go a trick room mode, which again, I don't think is very good versus us because we have so much to take advantage of it. But Lax is just one of those mons that can potentially um, excel uh, in or out of Trick Room just because of its overall bulk. Again, like next to this Pokemon, it's really tough for them to knock out this Pokemon uh, because they don't have like a dedicated fighting type uh, yeah. to do anything. And especially with like Recycle and stuff, I think it's going to be really tough for them to break it down. Um, as we get, you know, curse boosts over time and after our berry activates, we just recycle. And I don't think that, um, I mean, unless they start, you know, they got to start like double targeting and hitting. Like yeah. really hard, but we're gonna keep getting boosts and we're gonna have Pokemon um, next to Lax too. Exactly, That's the thing yeah. too. Like, yeah, again, like, this is a tougher, I think, one for them for sure. Uh, like, they might have some options, like maybe like Roar Mence to phase it out, but that'll just that's enough. That's, <laughs> it's gonna be in the back. It's inevitable. Yeah, I feel like. Uh, and again, if you thought this was a really good build uh, or really good choice, just because Rabombi is actually somewhat threatening as a special attacker, especially like Bug Buzz versus uh, Mew or like Pollen Puff or whatever. Um, same thing, but it also, it, same base power as Bug Buzz, but it also, if they use it on an ally, it heals them, so that's pretty cool. Um, and, again, like, while they do have Malamar with super power, we have a few options, like, as you see, Mew next to it is designed to hopefully get rid of Malamar. Um, you want to talk about Licks? Yeah, sure. So, like, we, we really think that, you know, going the curse route in this uh, matchup is great, especially since they do have a potential trick room option, so bringing that would just be beneficial to us um, and Steelix is just a great Pokemon overall we've brought it almost every week if not every week it's um, you know, it's just really bulky with the uh, max HP max for the death it can even take like a hit from uh, from Victini on the special side like blue flare or something which is uh, phenomenal and even an earth power from uh, from Nido King as well so that's always nice uh, with curse and protect we have two attacks remaining uh, our stab moves essentially just hit pretty much everything on their team like heavy slam hitting Things hard like Mega Deancey, like Salamence and stuff. While um, you know we have stopping tantrum specifically for the Victini and Togedemaru, and um, this thing is re just really great versus Togedemaru as well, just because um, that thing can be, it's a, a, yeah, it can be really annoying. Exactly. Yeah, so I think that um, just the bulk that Steelix has and the ability to curse up, boost its attack and defense as well, um, it's just really nice versus their team. And it's another option versus Rabambi, which. Like Joey said, can be uh, a bit of a threat yeah. or a nuisance depending yeah. on its set. We, we don't want to count out those two mons. Like Togedemaru or Bombi, uh, speed tier wise, first off, they're annoying because obviously our Mew is not faster than Togedemaru. Um, fake out support, Encore, Spiky Shield, things like that. And plus, Lightning Rod is also pretty annoying too uh, because outside of that, Thunderbolt would be pretty free outside of Nidoking and Gorgeist. Um, yeah. One thing also to note, uh, and you'll see by our next member, Tapu Fini that uh, it pairs really well with Snorlax Sash Steelix because Gorgai's main way of dealing with these two would be Will-O-Wisping them or Foul Playing. Uh, and obviously it can't Will-O-Wisp us under terrain, so that's just one thing that pairs really well. And Foul Play won't be doing much if we're boosting our attack and defense at the same time. Um, so it'll just be doing the consistent damage and, you know, crunches, heavy slams, eventually we'll be doing damage to them. So, uh, yeah, like Curse Licks, really, really solid. As Envy said, it can take every hit. Also, Sturdy could be pretty useful too if Victini ends up going for a Z-Move. Um, yeah. Like Z Celebrate, for instance, and uh, we get a little bit of chip with the Talon Flame you guys see on the team. Uh, so Steelix could be like that savior that allows us to not lose to that. Um, and yeah, so I'll talk about Tapu Fini. So uh, Tapu Fini's coming up next. We're bringing Calm Mind, I Pop Berry, Muddy Water, Moon Blast, Protect. Uh, really defensive again. A physical Victini could be really annoying. Uh, this can also take hits from uh, Salamence. Like if it's plus one Z Salamence, it could take a hit. After a Calm Mind, it eats a hit from Needle King. Uh, bringing us into I pop berry, whereas Moonblast, uh, Muddy Water does enough to, uh, to KO, if anything, from any of our other members. Um, mm -hmm. Moonblast is there for Malamar, that's another big thing why we have Tapu Fini, because it resists both knockoff and superpower. Uh, it can also take on Whale Lord, because believe it or not, Specs Whale Lord with Instruct can be very annoying. Uh, like, water Spot plus Instructing, allowing to go for Water Spot again. Uh, that yeah. can be really, really, really annoying, especially if they do bring Sticky Web. That's one thing. Like. Webs are an option, so Willard cannot speed our entire team uh, if they do uh, bring Web. So Feeny is obviously a resistance to that. 
Uh, also tanking hits from Mega DNC and essentially like the only mod it really really is worried about on their team is Togemaru which doesn't KO it but Needle King mainly like a modest Needle King um, yeah. is except uh, really 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 threatening but outside of that Combine Top Buffini really good versus them hits hard uh, is there anything else you want to add? Yeah sure like our first three members Mew, Snorlax, Steelix are kind of weak to Malamar in the sense that you know Snorlax and Steelix just get super powered and Mew doesn't really appreciate knockoffs and stuff especially if they do opt to just run a trick room variant or whatever but a defensive Tapu Fini straight up shuts down Malamar so I think in that regard plus like the Misty Terrain to avoid any kind of status they might uh, set on us or anything like that just the nice bulk that it has plus the berry can be really useful I, I feel overall yeah I, I agree completely so that's why those four are common uh, next up, you can talk about Talonflame if you want. Yeah, I, I really like Talonflame a lot. It's been um, just Z moving, uh, you know, every every single. It's consistent. Uh, time it it's consistent. Very consistent. Yeah. Um, so here we have a three attacks protect uh, Talonflame, and the idea behind this set is with an adamant nature and max speed, we're one point faster than a max uh, speed Mega Deancey, and so because of that, we have uh, Steel Wing, which is going to be, um, I guess, knocking it out in one hit, guaranteed, right? I think. Um, yes. Yeah. Mega because it's times four effective, which is really cool. Um, and, and we figured that, uh, you know, the Flanium Z Brave Bird, it, uh, it just hits, like, stuff really hard. Like, for instance, um, if it's, like, a Z Victini, that we would definitely want to try to nuke that before it tries to um, Z Celebrate. And um, versus Mens as well, versus Nidoking. Basically, all of their, like, more offensive threats, you know, like Victini, Salamence, Nidoking, maybe Rabambi as well as Waylord, it, it, perhaps, if, if it does show up. I think that uh, the Flanium Z uh, Brave Bird is just really good for those mods. But we do also have Flare Blitz because we don't want Talonflame to get walled by Togedemaru. And um, other than that, I mean, it's just a great mod. Uh, it's just a Pokemon that can really help us check a lot of their uh, more offensive Pokemon, especially if they decide to bring a faster team, I guess. Um, so we have options for both like a Trick Room style team if they bring if yeah, they have slower and mods. And webs as well. Like mm -hmm. and Yeah, and webs, of course, with... Um, you know, Talonflame being faster than literally everything on their team, having that Gale Wings priority. Uh, exactly. One thing to note, uh, we did say that Steel Wing does Oko DNC, but that was on a, a, a minus defense nature DNC. Otherwise, it does 92 to 112, if I'm not mistaken, which means that after a snarl from, uh, a snarl mm -hmm. from Raikou, uh, it does go down. So Yeah, that's just and like the good well. thing about it is like Raikou is just faster than everything on their team except for uh, Rabambi, which we have a lot of options for on our team, I feel. So getting off that fast snarl and just putting things in range is just something that yeah, can be nice and you exactly. can transition into Raikou if you want exactly exactly so like you said going into Raikou right here uh, so we're bringing in an offensive one uh, timid uh, 352 speed I think this is really important too uh, because I feel like Raikou being faster than Talonflame is smart since a snarl will be it might be the difference between a Pokemon getting into berry range or anything like that also like for example like let's say uh, Needle King had um, uh, I'll just give the example of Needle King, but I doubt it. But let's say Needle King has like a Papa Berry or something like that. A Papa or whatever. Uh, HP Ice doesn't bring it down to Berry and then it puts it in range of Talonflame's Brave Bird. Like this is the situation where we don't have priority Brave Bird. Or just things like that. Like I think that Raikou being faster in general than Talonflame uh, to not potentially activate Berries, but to also better support it with Snarl too uh, is, is worth it. So Thunderbolt HP Ice hits their entire team for super effective damage outside of Togedemaru, which we've already talked about having Flare Blitz on Talonflame. Steelix is there, Mew, Snorlax, everything so far can deal with Togedemaru. Inner Focus is nice because we do not get flinched by Fake Out from Togedemaru. Shucka Berry allows us to take an Earth Power from, um, from Needle King. It also allows us to take uh, a Spread Move Earthquake plus one from mm, Mence, yeah. as well as an Earth Power from Mega Deancey. So those are all pretty cool. Again, Snarl really supports the team. Weakening Needle King means that uh, uh, Curse Lax has it easier. Weakening uh, Needle King, uh, Weakening Victini can be the same thing for Top of Fini, can be the same thing for Curse Lax, depending on the set. Uh, just getting off chip damage in, uh, in general. And then, of course, we have Quash. And Quash is really, really fun when you have, you know, Curse Lax and Curse Steelix. They're both incredibly slow, but Quash means that uh, when, when you use Quash on... Uh, on a Pokemon, if versus the target, like if, if I use Quash, for example, on, uh, I'll give the example of Victini, right? Uh, if I use Quash on Victini, it means that Victini will go last that turn. So it doesn't matter even if I'm minus six Snorlax, which essentially means I'm plus six Snorlax. Uh, Snorlax will outspeed Vic Victini that turn and be able to get off an attack. So Quash just means that the opponent's lower members we can deal with. Um, and this can be the same thing in a sense, whereas 
Uh, maybe we, it's already confirmed they have a speedy Victini, and we want to clash with Raikou to make sure Mew is faster, so that way we can go for a Groundium Z, or uh, just things like that. I, I feel like Quash really, really, really supports Double Curse and a semi-slow team. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's just a nice Pokemon. I really, like, it's probably just the best trade we could have made, I feel. Like, Raikou is just such a great Pokemon overall. The speed tier, the amount of utility it has in the offensive presence, I, I really do like Raikou a lot. And, um, yeah, that's about it, I think. Like, yeah. Quash is just so nice. It, like, I remember, um, just my first introduction to like doubles, I guess, in terms of VGC, was using a, a team that had Quash on Alolan it. Alolan so, Persian, right? Mm -hmm, Alolan Persian plus Snorlax, and just having like I guess Raikou, which is equally as fast, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, it, it is, is. It is. Yeah, and with Quash and um, Inner Focus too. Mhm, mm and Inner Focus as well. Yeah, so I, I really do like this Pokemon a lot. Yeah, uh, it, it's really it's really solid versus them again, speed tier wise. Uh, we can't hit Togemaru, but Snarl is still decent for breaking potentially sturdy. Sash, whatever that, and still supporting the team. Uh, we another mod we were thinking about bringing was Scrafty, but obviously, uh, giving Malamar a boost just by coming out, uh, Mega Deancey threatening us offensively, and yeah, the possibility of Victini being special, and also having Rabambi, like it just felt like that wasn't the best. Yeah, or even like Z Salamence yeah. and Flanium just ripping through something. I feel like Scrafty was something we probably like not. It was, it was feeling. best. It was best that we stayed away from. My yeah, opinion. exactly. Uh, Serena as well didn't make much sense here. Um, like, it has the move set scarf wise, knock off, play rough, power whip. You know, it, it could potentially do something, but I feel like the six we brought were the best. Um, and then area dose didn't make sense to T spike a magic bounce user. Uh, Pokemon would have, people would have dedicated poison type, and then like yeah, they have steel type. So like, and then plus we have we're bringing Tapu Fini, so there's just like a whole lot of things going on. I feel like we brought the best six we could this time. I think so too, yeah. Um, I feel pretty good about this match as well, just in terms of the matchup that we have, or I guess like the book one that we brought, I think can can do really well versus yeah. their uh, roster. Exactly, and like leading wise, we're thinking about Raikou plus like Mew, right? Because I think that I feel like that deals with everything. Raikou deals with everything speedy wise. Mew can KO everything that can threaten it. Uh, Togemaru with Earth Power, Z D Ancy, we have Ice Beam from Men's, Mal. Uh, yeah, Mew and the Snarl support is just great to make Mew even bulkier, bulkier and have yeah. a longer survivability and stuff. Yeah, one thing to keep in mind though is that uh, Rabambi does have Shield Dust, so Snarl will not lower its special attack. So that's one switch. But like, I feel like on the. Uh, what, what's the way we're doing it? Was it Mew, Raikou, uh, Snorlax, Steelix on one side, and then Tapu Fini, Talonflame on the other side? I know Talonflame like and that. I know Talonflame and Mew are on opposite sides, and I know that Mew and Raikou are on opposite sides because they're both running the Z move. Uh, I didn't. I don't necessarily remember. I feel like no. I feel like Lix and Snorlax uh, and and Snorlax are actually opposite sides too, uh, because there was no uh, poison switching on that. I don't remember. Whatever. We'll we'll remember. We'll, we'll figure it out when we were in the yeah, Netherlands. Yeah. I just know that Raikou Mew is gonna be our lead. That's for yeah. sure. It's just way too good versus them, but. Uh, Hopefully yeah. we can continue this undefeated streak, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. I really yeah. hope we can. Yeah, we'll do our best. We uh, we've been doing well. Uh, obviously, uh, luck and fortune has come our way, but we've also, I think, prepped pretty well versus a lot of people for the most part. And yeah. uh, I, I like our team. Like, I I really really like our team. Uh, this team is tied for my favorite, uh, and the only other favorite would be our playoff team from last season. Where we yeah, had that was also Comfy. a pretty good team yeah. as well. Drapion and Kiram and Comfy was like, I feel like they made the best. They were the best switches we had. What did we have prior to that? I know we had uh, Licky Licky. And oh, we had Malamar, dude. Malamar. <laughs> it never. It was such a cool idea. It never did anything for us, though. It never did anything at all. Like I remember, we brought it like at the very beginning of the. It season. got blown away. <laughs> Turn blown away. And I think we brought it at, like towards the end too, before we traded away, and it still got blown away. Yeah, in one, in hit. one hit. Like everybody, I guess everybody over prepares for it because it, it's scary. Yeah. We never got to use the happy hour. We never. I don't think it was to... around back then. It, it, it probably, wasn't around. It probably was. It probably wasn't. It probably wasn't. Yeah. We definitely would have, because like everybody, I feel like everybody and their mom have done like follow me or fake out plus uh, omni boosting or fake out plus belly drum. Like everybody's done that, right? Azu, uh, yeah. Cyberbaz did Azu versus us. Uh, Dragon Birds did Linoon versus us. Uh, the, the Jamies did Porygon versus us twice. I don't know. We've I just like, remember we just got set up over and with over like Omnibus and just redirection and all that kind of stuff and we got blown back and then we like beat all our enemies in the playoffs. Didn't we get really lucky last season too to make it? 
I, I feel like we did. We did. Uh, we ice punch froze. We ice I'm punch. pretty sure we did, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still remember. Dude, that's why that's why people keep like the fortune. referring me to the, the fortune god. Yeah, yeah the luck god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that's going to be it. Uh, definitely check out their channels as well as MV channel down below. Uh, the battle will be live. Uh, 24 hours from this video. Just remember that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, ideally, that's what it is. But yeah, uh, yeah check out MV. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye.